Both punishment and reinforcement are elements of operant conditioning because the learner's behaviour operates on the environment. So the consequences of the learner's behaviour, whether it be punishment or reinforcement, will determine the likelihood of the behaviour occurring again or not. The word reinforcement needs to strengthen. In a behavioural sense, reinforcement increases the likelihood of a particular response occurring again. A positive reinforcer is a desirable stimulus which, when issued, strengthens or increases the likelihood of a particular response occurring again by providing a pleasant or desirable consequence. Positive reinforcer examples could be money, praise, food, etc. So positive reinforcement involves the delivery of a pleasant stimulus following the response in order to increase the likelihood that that behaviour will occur again. So, for example, with Skinner and the Skinner box, the, what was being reinforced was lever pressing by delivering food following that behaviour in order to strengthen that lever pressing behaviour. If you want to reinforce a worker, pay them at the end of the week for their hours of work. If you want to reinforce a student, give them good marks for questions they answer correctly on a test. Negative reinforcement, on the other hand, involves the strengthening of the operant response via the removal of an aversive stimulus. So in the case of the Skinner box, following the sounding of a particular noise and a light flashing, the rat had a few seconds to hit the lever in order to remove the aversive stimulus, which was the electric shock. So the behaviour being reinforced in this case, lever pressing, the aversive stimulus, removal of the electric shock. In the case of many pharmaceuticals, particularly, say, common ones such as a Panadol, let's say you wake up on a Sunday morning with a sore head after a big night on Saturday night, and you take a Panadol, and then within half an hour, let's say, you're feeling all right. What's being reinforced is the drug-taking behaviour. So next time you wake up with a sore head on a Sunday morning, you'll take another Panadol. So we're reinforcing Panadol-taking behaviour in order to remove the aversive stimulus, that sore head you have. 